Hello, Michael here again, and today I'm going to show you how to make... Ahoy there, me hearty. Oh. Hi there. I wonder if you can help me. I've been searching this beach for hours, trying to find... the... X. The X? Arr, no. Not the eggs. The X. Oh, the X. Yes, that's right. The X. The X marks the spot of my buried tr- The X marks the spot of my buried tr- Oh. Yes, my favourite trousers. The X marks the spot of my favourite buried trousers. So have you seen an X marked in the sand? No. No, I haven't. Well, if you do, let me know. Right, I'm going to carry on searching. Okay. Bye then. Bye for now. <laughs> right, now he's gone. I can show you this. I think it's what that pirate was looking for. This is a buried treasure chest. And if you want to make your own, this is what you're going to need. One tea bag box, some stiff cardboard, white paper, newspaper, glue, yellow paint, a paintbrush, coloured cardboard, some brown parcel paper, a piece of kitchen foil, a black felt tip pen, tape and scissors. Okay, so first up we're going to grab our tea bag box and please, please, please make sure there are no tea bags in there. If there are, then just check with an adult before you take them out because I don't want to be held responsible for any missing tea bags in your kitchen. And also we're going to use that piece of stiff cardboard. So we're going to place the tea bag box just off to one side like so and then we're going to draw around it on the cardboard to create our island. And then once that's done, you're going to cut it out. Using another piece of stiff cardboard, cut some small squares and stick them in place like so. This will give our treasure chest a support to rest on. To make the treasure chest look like it's made out of wood could not be easier. All we're going to do is take some of the brown parcel paper, rip it into small strips and then stick these lengthways all over the tea bag box. Ahoy there, matey! Oh! Hello. Matey? Well, shiver me timbers. What are you up to here? Oh, this? Oh, I'm just, uh, wrapping a present to send to a friend in the post. Oh, a present, eh? Hmm, I like presents. Well, who knows? Maybe you'll get a present soon too, eh? The only present I want is to be reunited with my treasure. Treasure? Squawk! He means trousers! <gasps> ah, yes, that's right. Trousers. I meant trousers. Well, if I do see your treasure, I mean trousers, I'll let you know. Ah, that is very kind of you, young man. I will split my treasure, I mean, trousers, with the person that finds the X that marks the spot. Right? I better keep on looking. <sighs> As I was saying, we need to cover the box in strips of the brown paper. Whew, I better get cracking. Cover the box in brown paper, leave it to dry, then use the yellow cardboard to add gold trimming around the edges and a padlock on the front. So there it is, that is our treasure chest completed. 
It's got its padlock, it's got its gold trim. We can put that to the side for just one moment because now I'm going to make this. This is the spade that was used to dig the chest out of the sand. Really easy, really straightforward. Just draw the spade shape onto a piece of thick cardboard, cut it out. Then all we need to do is add some kitchen foil down here to make it look like the metal. And then this bit we can leave because it's already brown. It looks like wood. Once it's done, it should look something like this. So now we've made the shovel, we just need to grab our treasure chest and our base, and this is what we're going to do. Tape your treasure chest in place like this, then add some screwed up balls of newspaper and put the spade in place like so. Build up more balls of newspaper like this and cover in papier mache. Once that's dry, carefully cover in yellow paint like this. So now the paint is dry, our treasure chest is complete and it's ready for you to hide your most valuable possessions. What do you think? I think it looks a lot like my treasure chest. You've got my treasure. I should make you walk the plank. Squawk! He just found it. Oh, you found it! And you said you'd split your treasure with the person that found it. Did I really say that? Yes, you did say that. In which case, I better share it. Open up the treasure chest. Oh, wow, look at all this treasure. Not just any old treasure. Chocolate treasure! Squawk! Chocolate treasure? Well, shiver my timbers. I love chocolate. Oh, me too. Squawk! Me three! So, there it is. That's how you make your very own treasure chest perfect for hiding your most valuable possessions. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.